today is March 23rd, 2014. Love. We're taking Gracie back. She's working on our spelling and our... Actually, what? I'm just following leaves get there. Me? <laughs> I kicked them away from the door. Or the step right there. <laughs> to dry them out a little bit. They were all... Gracie, I'm not hearing you say these out loud. Say the words out loud, Gracie. Make. Are you looking? Goes. Goes. One. going to learn to read words that end with Not and mm and Say and and unk. Gracie, say and and t and Say it, Gracie. Mm now watch her on here, Gracie. Hint. Ant. Hint. You should be paying attention to your reading. Scent. Scent. What's that one? Plant. Grunt. Grunt. I'm drawing special letter for you. Slant. Okay, Gracie. Slant. Gracie, are you looking at these still? Stunt. NK. Mm. Say unk. Like skunk. No. Stint. Bank. 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 They all have NK. Pink. Sink. 
Jump. Jump. Why are you so slow? Wait. Jump. Say the words. Now you say the words, Gracie. And tent. Hint. Hint. No tent. Tent. Now look at it now. Is that pent? Look. And Ant. Right. Gracie? What? Word. Hint. Okay. Here you go. Here, look. Hunt. I see. Say the words. You're not even looking. Come on, sweetie. Look at the words. Hint. Okay, I'm just gonna stop it then. If you don't stop, put that down. Watch him. Scent. Huh? Park ranger. Who is it? Did you? Mm -hmm. It's a park ranger. Jay? Yeah. Oh, maybe not Mark Ranger. It's Grunt. Nope. I'm in a lot of Billy Bulls in Quincy lately. Slant. Print. Crazy, get that out of the window, please. Sink. Crazy, get that out of the window, please. Junk. I junk. Well, you're not even doing the letters, so you know. Wink. Easy, give grandpa a kiss away. 
crazy. Crazy down. Don't jump on me. Now tomorrow we have gymnastics, don't forget, okay? Tomorrow. What? Gymnastics tomorrow, okay? I'll be, so I'll be here at 545. Let me help See you later. Love you. See you tomorrow. Adolfo Suarez died in a hospital in Madrid after suffering from dementia. The national broadcast addressed King Juan Carlos, praised Suarez for his loyalty to the crowd. Adolfo Suarez was 81. This is ABC News. Here's something you don't hear on the radio every day. Someone who can't see. I am totally blind, and I go through periods where I'm unable to sleep at night and feel like I'm constantly running but can never quite catch up. But this isn't a sleep problem. It's something called non-24. Learn about the link between total blindness and your symptoms. Visit learnmorenon24.com or call 855-856-2424. Sponsored by Vanda Pharmaceuticals. I'm Richard Cantu, ABC News. I'm Peter Whittle with this WGEM News Update. A Quincy man has been arrested after a driver saying texting and driving led to a rollover accident near Quincy University. It happened on Saturday night at Eastman College. Police say 35-year-old Travis Neeson rolled his car onto his side. He was later ticketed for improper lane usage and texting while driving. Later, police arrested him for obstructing justice after they say he tampered with evidence. He was taken to the Adams County Jail. The WGEM Storm Track Weather Center is staffed with David Nissen, or they said Travis Nissen. I wonder if that's any relation to Dave. I don't know. But then he tampered with evidence? <laughs> How do you get on somebody tampered with evidence? You know what I mean? Like how if tomorrow a high thirty four and a chance of some light snow accumulation. That's the AM Storm Track Weather Center. I'm Thank you for joining us because we are going to tell you the truth. We're going to give you the facts because we want you to be informed and inspired. Why did you slow down when I turned there, buddy? You're going to get behind you. That's what I'm. You want to know how we're going to do it? We're going to save the same. We have a lot of new affiliates and a lot of new listeners. Who may not have heard one of our previous dialogues, monologues about this topic called Save the Save of the Web, that term a lot. And so I thought it would be a good time to remind those that know what we mean by that, but at the same time inform those that aren't quite sure what that means. 
Well, it really starts out with the recognition that ignorance may be bliss, yep. but ignorance <laughs> is also stubborn. Because some people are stubbornly in denial about the facts and the truth on any subject, and they choose to believe cherry-picked information to argue an illogical conclusion. They also choose to ignore any information or facts that contradict their conclusion. Remember what Debbie Rosselman Schultz said after it was determined that Obamacare wasn't doing the things that it was supposed to do? No, there was nothing uh, about what President Obama or that I or any other Democrat supporting the Affordable Care Act said that was not true. Really? Uh, let's listen to what President Obama said about if you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. Period. Really? Uh, what about Nancy Pelosi? When a reporter was referring to Obamacare as Obamacare. First of all, I was called the Affordable Care Act. Really? Why don't you go and ask the over six million people who have lost their health insurance or the millions who are seeing upwards of 50 percent increases in their premiums? And you want to call it the Affordable Care Act? You see, folks, that's what I mean by stubbornly holding on to an illogical conclusion. Why do people do that? They do it because they're influenced more by emotions and ignorance rather than by the facts and knowledge. Some of the people are savable and some are not, depending upon the depth of that emotional attachment to a conclusion. I had an exchange with a caller recently where no matter what I said, he rejected the facts. That's why a lot of people are. And we wrote a piece called Herman Schools of Calling. He cherry picked some facts. I gave him historical facts, but he rejected it anyway. Now, when I talk about saving the same world, I'm really talking about someone who is willing and capable of drawing a logical conclusion from a logical set of facts. But there are sometimes some folk are so attached emotionally that they can't do that. Or they will spin the lines. You see, like the Democrats consistently sold Obamacare based on lies. We know that. That's why they don't want to talk about it. When the lies were exposed, some of the Democrats denied the lies. Some of them tried to put a pot 